Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some Pokemon Silver. Uh, as you last remembered, we lost Jotaro, the previous episode. So we're basically gonna go... Basically find Jotaro's replacement, because now the time has changed. So now we can find something inside the, um... Uh, this place over here, so... Hi, Jake. Uh, man. I also realized Jake watched that entire thing. Jake, the only member in the entire um, game who can um, not get hit by magnitude, had to watch Jotaro get taken down by a... Uh, it's a painful memory. But anyway, before we continue on, I should say, uh, if you want to leave a like, if you end up liking this video, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, that's what helps me make these videos once a day. And here's the Pokemon that we've been waiting for. This is the only one that I could find in here. Um, I'm pretty sure I could just throw a Pokeball. There's no way that a level 5 Oddish can one-shot Kid Fisto, even if they have type at disadvantage. Hmm. Hmm, you're gonna be like this, huh? Wow, okay. So... I'm switching out there. <laughs> Why do you deal so much? Oh, it's because I have a low special defense, but Jesus Christ, come on. See, now this is what I said. This is who we're replacing with. I was trying to think of what's the best way of taking down a ground type. Uh, the answer is one, water. Um, as you saw, Soul Rock did not do his greatest. He did his best, but unfortunately he almost got one shot by magnitude in itself. So, I'm almost positive grass is, takes no bonus damage from, oh wow, really? I mean, it, this was not going to be an easy task. This was not going to be an easy task at all. So, why is, out of all the Pokemon, this level 5 Oddish is the thing that's causing you the most trouble? The Ditto is easier to catch. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I throw a Great Ball. Which is the silly thing to say, but what if I just throw... A great ball at the level 5 Oddish. Huh. What about then? Really? <laughs> uh, listen Oddish. There's literally no Pokemon I have that won't instantly one-shot you in your current state. Let me see. Oh, actually there is. There's Snake. So, alright, we're gonna go to Snake. Wow, that's an extremely good back detail of... Um, Ekans. Hmm. Rap. Now listen here, Snake. You're gonna have to not kill this Oddish. Okay, good. You're doing great so far. I just realized that this is gonna take forever because of this. Wow, man. This Oddish. Living up to the namesake of what I want her to be, which is the replacement for, um, for Jotaro. Not the replacement. Basically, inheriting the essence of Jotaro. Alright, constricted. Let's try now. Now that you've been hit with some stuff, maybe now you'll get in the damn Pokeball. Thank you. Alright. Let me look up the specific spelling, because she has a very specific name. Uh, let's see. Okay. I figured that's how it was spelled. But I wanted to be sure, because I didn't want to mess this up. What's your nickname? You are... Joe. Old. Lean. I could almost fit Cujo on here, but... Jolene. Alright, Jolene. Welcome to the team. You are, of course, very underleveled, but it's fine. I also realize I have the wrong background in the background. Whoop. There we go. Whooper's more for gotcha art. This way it's easier for me. Alright. 
So yeah, I guess uh, we're going to continue on training up Kid Fisto. I think Kid Fisto is strong enough to go into the gym now. Mm. Jake, you're going to stay in there for a little bit longer. Okay, go up here. Go up here. Hello, good evening. Yes, please, heal my Pokemon. Alright, we're going to head into the gym now. And I'm going to keep... I mean, I'm going to see if I can... So here's the way it's going to go right now. Because I'm pretty sure... This is the way. But then also, let me check. Antidote... I have no berries. I have potions, though, which is good. That was the reason why, uh... Poor Jotaro ended up meeting an early fate. But with Jolene on the team, I really feel like we're going to be able to not replace, because that's not the word I would use, but live on the memory of Jotaro. I say, as there's a good possibility that Jolene will also die, but hey, I'm not trying to make them die. Hello, woman. Verica. Victoria. Oh, wow, Centret. A level 9 Centret. All right, Jolene, you now you have seen it. Now it's time to fall back and let your good old Uncle Kid Fisto take over from here. What? What? How? How weenie is this sentry that its first idea was to immediately throw up the defense girl? I mean, they need it because I have magnitude, and they're dead. Yeah, nothing survives magnitude. I've learned. Oh, sorry. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. It's raining and the, the dogs are freaking out. As they do like to do. Let's get back to the fighting. Uh, unfortunately, because of the way it's currently set. Now, that's a strong centret. That's a big boy. That's a big, strong boy you have there. Girl. Apologies. Apologies. You're dead now, but you were a girl. And, oh yeah, that's right, all of these would be girls, because it's the female gym. Right, right. That Sentry, now that's a problem. At level 17, it could really- never mind. Kit Fisto is angry over the... The loss of Jotaro. Let me see, let's see, oops, it's over? Yeah. Not very good for you, huh? Hey, I don't blame you. That was rough. I watched that, and that was pretty dang rough. Hello, beauty. Give me a shot or I'll take you down. Now, I know they all have cute Pokemon, but there is, is there a small chance someone here has an Oddish? That's a Meowth. Okay. Go, Jolene. Look at this Meowth. Alright, good job. Now come out, Kid Fisto. Now, here's the dangerous thing, is that I'm not 100% sure if Meowth has Bite. Bite which is the actual one move that could hurt Kid Fisto at this moment in time. Because for some reason, um, yeah, there it is. <sighs> that's, that's not good. Yes, okay, good. I needed that, but Bite is actually legitimately the one thing I'm afraid of the most. Good job, Jolene. Learning, being strong. Jesus, man. Another one? I'm gonna use a potion. Just because I don't know. If he crits me, I'm dead with Kid Fisto. Yeah. So I'll get flinched, but it's fine. I mean, how can you tell? In all honesty. Jesus Christ. Please get... Please let this be enough. Not enough. Okay, so... Back in it. Get in the potion. Please don't be another crit. Okay. Pretty sure he can survive from this, if he, even if he gets crit. But he doesn't, because he's a jam champion. Now we're gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Oof. Terrifying. Terrifying, in all honesty. Okay. Not bad. Oh, my Meowth. Your mouth was a pansy, man. 
Had to show what's up. Alright, time to go back. I feel like there's a part of me that wants to buy X Defend. Just because... What's the Pokemon in the front? Cleffa? No, not Cleffa. Clef Clefairy. I was thinking of Clefable. That's the Pokemon that's going to be in the front for her. Mm. It's all very hard decisions I'm making right now. And there goes my dog crying right now in the background. Not a happy camper. Not a happy camper whatsoever. I wouldn't be here if I was stuck outside in the rain, to be honest. I mean, there's a place where they can go where the ring won't hit them, but the problem is that Conan, if you... I guess follow me on Twitter, you can hear it. Conan broke a door trying to get out of the rain once. And that's why it's kind of dangerous for him to be... Like... And he, like, we want him to be comfortable, but at the same time, like, he breaks doors. He's a giant animal. <laughs> ah, it's tough. But, you know. It doesn't rain very often in California, so the dogs that are usually outside and they deal with rain, pretty sad about it. It's Snubble. This is another Pokemon that would no bite. Uh, I'm gonna trust in Kit Fisto. If his bite's too strong, I will switch over to, um, Nux. Please don't let it be a one-shot. That was close. Jesus Christ, man. Why is bite all of a sudden such a giant problem? Why is it dealing so much damage is one thing. It's special. No, it's not special. What? Okay. Don't flinch, Kit Fisto. Don't flinch. Good job. Nine. Seven. Alright, not bad. A lot of that is because, you know, charm. If it wasn't for charm, you'd be close to dead. It's a weaker magnitude. It's gonna do less damage overall. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to switch him out because now he's got Kit Fisto's number in a crazy way. But he's gonna leave with a magnitude eight. Part of me that also wants to send in Mouse, but if Kid Fisto's getting rocked, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Man, what is... Okay, Charm. That's perfectly fine. Because I have, um, special attack moves. I have Ember. Dum Dum. Now Burn in the Fire. Crit, too. Alright, good job, Nux. Not bad. Alright. I think that was the only Pokemon that last carry was having as well. Darn, I thought you were weak. Nope. I just look weak, man. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and we'll call it a day. Next episode we will actually legitimately fight the gym leader and the trainer in front of the gym leader. Just because I don't want it to be too long. Let's go down here now. Oops. Sorry, I got a bad case of hiccups. All right, everyone, thank you again for watching. I hope you liked it. We are, of course, picking up the pieces after the devastating last episode. But if you're liking it, please leave a like. Comment about whatever you're feeling in the general thing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Stop recording. There it is.